Hi everybody, Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you featuring products that just came out in the new coffee shop card kit along with a few add-on die sets. So in the card kit you're going to get an array of solid color cardstock. You're going to get the uh, what's it called floor to ceiling paper pad and there are several die sets that are included in the card kit. But like I said, I also have a few of the add-ons. I'm not going to try to pronounce. There's like industrial finishes, window seat dynamics. There's pots and plants dynamics. All these things that you can mix and match. The stamp sets come in the card kit. But you can mix, all of, mix and match all of this stuff to create really cute coffee shop scenes okay like for example this is a clock die okay so it is a lot of die cutting and uh, it, you can really sky's the limit to all the different things that you can build and you could certainly use these uh, for other ways other than building a coffee shop for example here's uh, plants and a few different shapes of pots so you could do a, a potted plant card and uh, but I just start I'm going to start die cutting all these little pieces and see where I go I don't really have a plan I'm just going to get some pieces going so I have a plant and a pot and then some little odds and ends these are the base for chairs here's the clock like I showed you before and I'm going to go to town so I die cut a whole shebang of little pieces and I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with it but I'm going to start assembling some of this so i'm going to start with a clock because i'm really intrigued by it i think it's really really cute uh, when we lived in germany i had this big kind of industrial clock that was similar to this one i got it at ikea and i loved it i was so sad to leave it i think we gave it away to somebody but um i do love a big old kind of industrial clock and that's what it looks like all put together and now here's the little uh what do you want to call this like coffee bar I'm building like a little coffee bar with a mixture of different shades of brown and khaki or um, craft solid color cardstock. I'm using Barely Arts glue and an embellishment wand to put these all together. Really, you can customize this however you feel. You don't have to have, add all these details and you could certainly make it different colors. You could also use pattern paper. Now these are the chairs. They're a little bit retro. I'm here for the retro vibe. So I did two different shades of red cardstock to give it a little dimensional look to it. And then now I didn't show you, but I flipped over a piece of that floor to ceiling or ceiling to floor pattern paper. And I'm going to adhere this onto a white card base. I just used tape runner, which my tape runner is getting low. Can you believe it? Have you ever run out of tape runner? And uh, that's where I'm at. I got to order some more, but I'm not sure which brand to order. What's everyone's favorite brand of tape runner? I got to figure this out. Okay, so I decided to add a little more pattern paper to create a bit of a floor. Okay, so I've got that striped pattern paper for the uh, background, kind of a wallpaper. And then I've got this little strip of striped darker brown that's going to be like kind of a faux wood wood flooring okay just go with it okay we've i've adhered my coffee bar and then now i'm assembling these chairs from here on out it's basically just a bunch of assembling and like i said before you could customize this a million and one ways depending on the colors uh, of cardstock you use and the placement i realized early on that i was not going to have room for all the things that i die cut you'd have to make a very extra large size card to build a scene. Now, I was kind of going off of, when you go on the My Favorite Things website and you look at the uh, blog post or on the website that advertises this coffee shop card kit, there's some great examples. And I was kind of going off of that and I thought I'll make a scene similar to the one that I saw on the website. And then I realized I am not gonna have room to fit all this. So then I just kind of went off script and just started building. I, I don't think you can go wrong because all these little things are so cute. So much detail and thought put into all the things. I, I didn't say it, but I put together a little coffee cappuccino maker there. And then behind it, I'm adhering a little, uh, what do you call that? Free floating shelf, I guess, 
with a couple of coffee cups on it using trying to fit in as much color as I can and then here's a little coffee pot I actually I don't really know all the coffee terms I know you're not gonna you're gonna gasp when I say this but as of now I'm not really a coffee lover I'm tr my kids are trying to get me into it they're like mom start with hot chocolate add a splash of coffee and then just keep adding more coffee and pretty soon you'll love it because my girls they just love to go to starbucks and get all the fun drinks but i'm just working my way in i don't know what it is but but look at this cute little cake and it's got like a cake stand you just put it all together it's so fun and with a cherry on top forget about it now I'm going to use this let's do coffee just a simple little sentiment I'm going to stamp it right on to that background using versifying onyx black ink I'm not going to emboss it not going to pop it up just right on to that wallpaper it's very simple no embellishments needed because there's such a cute scene lots of color going on here I think my favorite thing is still that clock I don't know why but I love it and uh, okay make sure and check out the coffee shop card kit over on the my favorite things website i hope you enjoyed this video let's do coffee with some coffee walk the dog and talk about it have a wonderful day and i will see you next time